you. I'm Vanessa Ariza. Thank you for staying with us for ABC Action News after the game. Well, when, when one season ends, another begins. The excitement built around sports is never ending. But when the games are over and the lights are out, mental health issues continue. ABC Action News reporter Lydia Vasquez spent the day talking with former Buccaneers champion and explains why they say challenges are different now and shares their message to the younger generation. According to the NCAA, mental health issues remain top of mind for student athletes. Data shows mental exhaustion, anxiety and depression haven't changed much in the last two years. And while stress is not unique to athletes, the pressure to perform can be a heavy burden to carry. The pressures are from parents, the pressures are from your coaches, the pressures are from the other peers with your social media. Dwight Smith, a retired Tampa Bay Buccaneers champion, tells me he believes social media is the elephant in the room and that outside pressure carries a lot of weight to it. I think the pressure today is a different pressure than what we had. You know, we didn't have to deal with social media and that, but we had the pressure of wanting to be successful. I mean, every kid has that pressure wanting to be successful, whether it's in sports or school. Much um, like Smith, so Martin Gramatica, you know, another you, 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 Bucks you, you, champ, yeah, tells me millions what? of people with access to anyone at their fingertips is a stress he didn't have to worry about. Now everybody has access to your life, especially if you're on social media. They have access to what you're doing and the attacks are a lot easier. Mental health, it's a topic being discussed more often on a national scale. Then once I came out here, I was like, no, mental is not there, so I just need to let the girls do it and focus on myself. And on Friday, former race player Austin Meadows said he'll miss the rest of the season, adding on top of dealing with physical issues, he's also been struggling with mental health issues, sleeping problems, irritability, low energy, forces to help because it's okay to Our not be okay. We may need to be screened for their mental health. One thing you don't want to do is be wrong when somebody say that there's something going on with them mentally. Smith harps on the importance of having a strong support you, system you and surrounding like, yourself yeah. with people no, who man, understand you. And Gramatica tells me to get there, you have to be someone vulnerable. I just tell them, you know, be, be open with your parents, be open with your coaches, be open with your family but also ignore all those comments. September is National Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. If you or someone you know is struggling, call or text 988. In Tampa, Lydia Vasquez, ABC Action News.